today I'm very excited. I watched a episode of The No about two, three weeks ago, and they said that there was cloned NES classics out there on websites like eBay and Alibaba. So I checked into it, and I picked this up on Alibaba. It was 50 bucks. It took a couple weeks to get here, but I didn't have to pay any shipping or anything like that. So this thing's supposed to have like a couple hundred games in it, and it's supposed to be a clone of a Nintendo NES uh, classic. So I thought, let's do an unboxing. I want to let you guys know how good it is, and I'll let you know if I recommend that you guys pick one up. I'll have a link in the description if that's something that you guys are interested in. Again, the, the price for me was $50. That included shipping to the United States. So let's get right into it. I'm so excited for this, though. So I didn't know how long it, to expect it as far as shipping. They came pretty quick, so it wasn't too bad. Okay, so you can see here, it's just a generic style box. It's a little beat up because it was just in like a um, plastic bag, not even in a cardboard shipping box or anything like that. So the box is a little banged up there. I don't know if you can see that uh, in the corners and stuff, but other than that, not too bad. The quality of the box seems pretty, you know, decent. It's not, you know, some of the typical Chinese... Um, packaging that I've seen that's really really terrible so everything's in Japanese or it's in Chinese and something but as you can see there it's you can see that it says entertainment system 500 so that the 500 is pertaining to 500 games that is actually already put onto the system here when you open it up that's what you see so you have the little console here and then you have your two controllers there so let's, um, let's pull this out of here All right, so in the package here, you get a little power adapter that has a micro USB on it. Or that's mini USB, I think. Yeah, mini USB. You get a cable here that is RGB, which is, or, you know, going to be terrible. Hopefully it has HDMI on it. I'm praying it has HDMI on it. Uh, I guess this is all the games that comes with it. Uh, we get uh, some instructions here. Kind of hard to understand because everything's not in English. You can look at the pictures and kind of decipher it. Yeah, so it, the AV out is just... Uh, you can see it right there. That That one right there is the AV out. So... You're going to need like a headphone style adapter that will plug into that. And there you go. I have a few TVs that probably still have these ports on them. I was hoping that it had like an HDMI output. Where I could just plug it into my whole thing. Get like game capture and stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that for you. But there is actually a power button there. And a reset button. And you can see nowhere on it does it say Nintendo. It just says entertainment system on it so uh the controllers let's see so this one here seems to be there's five about six foot length so the span of my arms are about five foot um these look like pretty much genuine nintendo nes controllers although they don't say nintendo anywhere on them uh but the buttons feel good they don't feel too bad start and select feel good they're not real squishy or anything like that they feel decent it feels like a like an nes controller would have uh, back in the 80s so let's see the uh, power the controllers plug in really nice that doesn't feel too bad Let's get this thing started up. So let me get this hooked up. I'll be right back and we'll check out some of these games. Let me see if I can get this on a TV for you guys so you can see it uh, at the same time. So we'll be right back. So to scroll through the menus here, we need to either scroll down to the game we want and there's 500 of them. Now, something I've noticed with this, 
Some of the games are in here twice or maybe even three times, so you're not really getting 500 games. And some of them just seem kind of dumb. Um, you can see, um, I, I didn't recognize some of these games. Wisdom, Goonies I recognized. Um, bar games. Some of them I can't even pronounce, so. Um, yeah, you're not really getting 500 games. Now, some of the Contras are legit. Ninja Turtles is legit. Um, Excite Bike, Double Dragon. But the way you cycle through is you either press over to go by 10s or you can go by 50s by pressing A or B. So if you want to go forward 50 games, you'll press A and another 50, another 50, and so on. If you want to go back 50, that one. If you want to go back 10, that way. That way you can get through the menu pretty fast. There is a card here that you can see that will give you like what all the games are that are on it. You can pause the screen if you want to see what each game is. Um, no Zelda, there's no Zelda in here. I was kind of bummed by that. No Super Mario um, 3. So it's saying Super Mario 2 is number 192. So let's go to that. Let's see what that looks like. So to go to the game now, I'm just going up and I'm gonna press start to go into the game. And now I can just press one or two So I just press start to start it. It feels just like Super Mario. Although this isn't the first level of Super Mario, is it? Doesn't seem right. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I played it. Uh, uh. So there you go, you can see it. Now, once you wanna get back out of this menu, you simply need to just press the reset button right here. So there's power there and reset, which is actually backwards. The initial Nintendo had power here and reset there. It's backwards. Controller one for me worked in this outside port here. So just press reset just like that. And then we're back to our game. You can see it's like slowing down, like it's. So I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed it, this didn't have some of the games I was hoping it would, uh, like Super Mario 3 or even Zelda, the original Zelda. And it doesn't have the HDMI connection on it. That is a big one for me. That way I, I, I can't stream any of the games. I can't, you know, get them into my computer uh, with my capture card. None of that stuff for me. So you you got to make sure that you have component uh, cables, uh, composite uh, video cables on your TV or monitor or you won't be able to get this thing to work so just keep that in mind all in all it's okay I think it's worth $50 I do I just was a little let down thinking that maybe some of the other games would be on there but again this is a clone of the uh, NES classic so although there is um, Super Mario's on there 
and uh, Mario Brothers is on there. So some of the basic games are on there. Donkey Kong Country and Contra and Mortal Kombat and Ninja Gaiden and some of the awesome games Excite Bike and uh, Airwolf and Goonies. Just a ton of games that you grew up with if you're from the 80s. They're all on here, but just those two games I was really hoping were going to be on there uh, were not. So I was dis disappointed in that respect, but all in all, you know, hey, it's I think it's worth 50 bucks. So I'll have a link in the description if you guys are interested. This thing came from Alibaba. Um, and you guys let me know what you think of this. Do you think it's worth $50? Would you buy one of these? Okay, so that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.